this is Peter with PM Design. In this video I'm going to show you what I can quite humbly say is probably the fastest way to make screws. Okay, so um, let's going to get on with it. So first you need to go into your preferences. There's an add-on. If you don't know about this add-on, it's going to save you so much time if you are the type of person who's inclined to make screws. It's called the Bolt Factory. Add-ons, Bolt Factory. It's that easy. It's done. The rest is done. Basically, you can, I'm sure you can figure it out for yourself from here. Mesh, bolt, and we get a bolt. Then we're going to change, you know, you can also make nuts with this, but we want we want to make a screw. So we're going to change that to a Phillips, which you could also later change to a flathead if you wanted to, or whatever. A Phillips posi drive, you could just easily change this into a flathead if you so want it. And we can change the head into, you could have it as a cap um, or a pan but I'm going to go with just the countersink because it looks like the most common screw. You've got everything that you need in here. The shank is actually this part here, so I might just give that some some length there. Then also, we've got the thread length. How long do you want the screw to be? Pretty long. Okay, let's make a really long screw. Okay, then we can mess with the pitch. It kind of determines how many rings there will be on the screw. And then the crest is going to take away this angle or increase that angle so if we bring that down to zero well, it's going to be very sharp you see we've got a screw going already I'm also going to in increase the diameter of these it really is this easy guys I don't know why so many people spend ages with verti vertices and the screw modifier it's here it's ready made for you okay the maths is all done you've got this perfect taper at the top you got the perfect taper at the bottom. Actually, I need to improve, increase my shank diameter to match the thread there. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I'm just going to show you roughly. Mess around with this, and then the last thing we need to do is just turn this into a point. So this is the only bit which is a little bit fiddly and needs a bit of eyeballing. There's no perfection here. You could you could actually find some ways to make it perfect, but I just click that one then control click the further one and get all of these X F to delete those press 2 to edge select select that edge let's go into orthographic I'm going to extrude down on the Z axis quite a bit size that down so the taper starts to match the so this is what I say about the eyeballing part this is the only part which needs eyeballing but the taper is still perfect uh, that on the thread sorry and then last bit just extrude down again and press M and O to link those together and then just match up that point and there you go you have a screw you know you could do a bit more to it but that's just doing it very quickly okay and then yeah you could we could go up here edge select increase the select here the, the face select sorry face select I want to just get to there and then just bring that down and there we go screw that quick all right save yourself a lot of time get the bolt factory add-on if you're going to be making screws also I've got some videos how you can use this to make a, a bottle cap thread which I'll add a link to and you could also use this to make many things you can make natural spirals which are perfect perfectly proportionate perfectly mathematically measured but yeah so if you found that useful please drop a like thanks very much